I don't have things to say unless some event happens. So I think the next event, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut, you know, because I need something to talk about. Because if I don't have some kind of new story, then I got nothing. You know, it is past due, the story, the next one. It's like, uh, say, the 26th, 14th. It's been 12 days since the shooting in Philly. Well, tomorrow will be day 13. Um, it's it's going to continue on. It's just, it just didn't happen yet. You know, eventually, I knew I would run out of things to say. Maybe today's the day. Maybe, maybe from this point on. You know, I mean, if nothing happens, of course, I won't have anything to say. So, Steve, if you want me to shut up, just stop with all these acts, okay? And then I'll stop getting on talking about it. You know, I'll, I won't take up 33 minutes of your time. I'll just take up, like, three minutes. You know? I understand. I'm an here there's four base ciphers: the alphabetic and, uh, order, the alphabetic order takes, with the rules of numerology, the reverse alphabetic yeah, I, I took order, you away from the reverse your alphabetic order with the original rules of numerology. Bid you want to know to all know. of the ciphers? The, uh, and just to make a point. For Right now at 6, we continue to follow breaking news from the Parkside section of Philadelphia, an historic church destroyed by flames. It is Tuesday night. Jim's off. I'm Rick Williams. And the big story in action news is the fire that's consumed the Greater Bible Way Temple. Crews are side section of Philadelphia, an historic church destroyed by flames. It is Tuesday night. Jim's off. I'm Rick Williams. And the big story in action news is the fire that's consumed the Greater Bible Way Temple. Crews are feverishly fighting the three-alarm fire at the 115-year-old church building. Action News reporter John Rollins live at the scene on North 52nd Street with the very latest on those efforts to battle that blaze, John. Well, Rick, we can report that the smoke seems to be clearing here. This was a three-alarm fire, a very big church, a very big fire at one point. Apparently no significant injuries, however. One civilian was transported from the scene, but we don't know why. Uh, I'll tell you why. Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. That one person that was at the, at the scene of the uh, ch church being taken away d d lit on fire. The gas light, gas lighting. So the roof was on fire, and I ran. And people was in the lobby. The they roof was on, on fire. fire, so I ran over there. And I ran over there, told the people to get out. Flames and heavy smoke poured from the burning structure. The fire was concentrated in the massive roof timbers. Within 30 minutes, the heavy slate roof began falling. It, it almost looks like 9/11. Yeah, you, you see, like the the look that they're kind of going for. Falling into the interior. The cops were here on time. The, the fire engines was here on time, and they was really doing a great job. You mean the police in, weren't late? There wasn't nobody in there. Witnesses said they saw someone on the roof of the church before the fire. Oh, there he is. woman Janie Blackwell told Action News the church's pastor confirmed to her there had been roofing work done today. No, I don't know. Gaslighting. The damage of the roof. The fire commissioner said firefighters are concerned about a possible collapse of the building and are fighting the fire from outside, mm, not collapse. inside the building. Of the building. You mean like the economy? You're not talking about a collapse of the economy, are you? Still an active firefight, and we'll be here certainly all night. Uh, we'll have firefighters here all night. But again, just an incredible job by your Philadelphia Fire Department, firefighters, paramedics. Well, you're watching the water still being poured on that church at this point. Built in 1904 as St. Gregory's Roman Catholic Church, it is now the Greater Bible Way Temple. Uh, its stone exterior is a landmark in this community. Its outreach program also well regarded within the community. I gotta get past his ads. Welcome back, True Seeker. If you watched my live stream last night, we talked about the church. Of 
Yeah, we know Jonathan Click. We get it. You got the script. No shit. Forty-seven today. The fire department was dispatched to reported fire in the church you see behind me. After a short three-minute response time, our uh, first arriving companies found a heavy fire showing from the rear of. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is C. Golden. In Philadelphia, uh, the Bible Great Way uh, Church was on fire. The fire has been a break has apparently was within the rooftop and yes once again this is also one of those uh old-fashioned uh vintage churches that has been set on fire again no injury at 330 you can confess your sins right here at 430 sorry i'm not good at uh, remembering the, the times here at notre dame but once upon a time, uh, Notre Dame was on fire. Somebody is in charge. And everything seems like it's really aiming towards Philadelphia with the Bible prophecy, where the destruction comes over there. You know, it's not like I wasn't expecting another event to take place in Philadelphia. Now, I just need one more elite mouthpiece to talk about the church. Well, there was someone that I just played. I don't know. I never seen him before. Uh, but it's about the temples here in Philadelphia. So it's the it's the church, that temple, the shooting at the Temple Hospital, right around the corner. So there's two more coming right here in Philly. One of them's a bomb with somewhere or another. It's coming up. So it's 13 days to the second event. Uh, there's two more coming. So it's that's day five SJD has perfect timing day six what will dominate the news tomorrow well nothing three days of three blown up references in Philly with the elite mouthpieces. The bombing is already foretold. Canceling some of those events. Day 10. Day 11. Day 12. And here's the false alarm. But it happened as, as soon as the church was on fire. The, uh, the silence had started with the channels. It wasn't just mine. But then it went right back on. Steve. Really? Look, it's a test run. If it ain't the actual shutdown, it's a test run to let you know it's on its way. So, it's on its way. Just be patient, people. I, 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 look, I jumped again. I was a little excited. 
thought I was finished. Then I started hearing sirens right down the street. I'm like thinking like, oh man, what, let me guess, let me guess a shooting will be right there on the corner and I won't be able to upload it, right? Is that what it's coming down to? Probably. You know, because it's day 13 and um, nothing's going on, no stories in the news, no new stories. Something's got to give. I thought this was it. I'm so disappointed. But don't worry, it'll happen. 10 10. Wins. That was, um. That was five hours ago. It could be five hours and 55 minutes. I don't know. But five hours ago, 10-10. If it's five full hours ago, it's 4-10. I just, I couldn't be there. You know, I couldn't be there for that one. So this is coming up somewhere in Philly. Saturday, August 17th. But it might not be a scare. I think they're using this as footage. I think this is preparation. But. But he only knows that because it's either one or two things. Either he knows it to be true and it's happening and he's a mass murderer and um, he's organizing that or he just has the world script in his hand because it's all scripted. Everyone's acting. All right, so I'm doing a land survey. The biggest question is why? In Philadelphia. Would everybody and anybody be in on it? How's that possible? Because it's the next event that's going to be a temple. Fine, it's not the Masonic Temple. It's the Gateway uh, Greater Bible Way Temple Church or whatever. I'm just telling you that it is, and that's the way it is. It is possible, and it is true. So I'm heading to the second event in two days, two towers. Two temples. It's like two towers in two days. Well, 13 days. Two main events right here in Philadelphia. Two temples. One of them starts right around the hospital, University Temple. Two main events, right here in Philadelphia. Two temples. Um, oh, he's the guy that reads the script to everybody. Forty-seven today, the fire department was dispatched to a reported fire in the church you see behind me. After a short three-minute response time, our uh, first arriving companies found a heavy fire showing from the rear of the church, and they immediately went to what we call uh, a defensive operation or an exterior attack. Again, heavy fire through the church. Uh, they did an incredible job. The first arriving battalion chief and all the companies getting here and circling the church, being able to get some uh, heavy caliber water streams in place. You can see we have a lot of aerial master streams in place, and that really is what's kept us, uh, has let us hold this fire. At, right now we're at two alarms, and a little bit more than that. Two alarms are what we call special calls. So two alarms plus, uh, that's roughly you know 75 to 100 firefighters and 30 to 40 pieces of apparatus. We had reports immediately that uh, all the occupants were out of the church. We did have, I know, one person in an adjacent uh, occupancy who was transported. But again, this is still an active firefight, and we'll be here certainly all night. Uh, we'll have firefighters here all night. But again, just an incredible job by your Philadelphia Fire Department, firefighters, paramedics, uh, and all the support partners out here. <laughs>